Hello, and welcome to Vegan Hippopotamus. Today, we are looking at uh, Argent Saga, the trading card game. I mean, of course it's a trading card game. That's kind of half of what we do on this channel. I, I know, but it's just saying, that's what it says right there. Funny story about Argent Saga. I mean, not really funny. It was uh, actually only published back in 2019, and it failed about in 2020. So, bad timing for release, I guess? Not really that. Just the people that developed the game, they were, uh... Uh, I guess they were, uh... People that were good, that had good ideas for the game, they were skilled card players themselves. But, they'd never actually released a card game before. And they didn't have everything... When they did, uh, bring it out, not everything was decided on. I think... Mostly, it was the cardstock, the stuff the cards are made out of, was different in the demo decks that they kind of pushed out compared to the full release cards. Ah. And yeah, it was just a really rushed game, and they didn't exactly know what they were doing. So yeah, I guess not really funny, more just depressing. Uh, like the last video, we actually, I actually found a pretty good video about this. Uh, it's like video's a couple years old by this point, but it's, yeah, it's a good, it's a, it's a well-made video, so I'm gonna stick the information up about here on the screen. So yeah, go check the, go check the video out if you'd like, if you feel like it. Okay, let's look at the front of this first, because then you get the actual, like, playmat look here. Ooh, mama, maybe less shaky on my part. Yeah, playmat. Oh, also, hmm? apparent, the, I forgot to mention, the publisher of this game was uh, Amicon Entertainment. I don't think I've heard of that one. I don't know who it is. Off, I don't know the name off the top of my head, but there's a chance we uh, they might have done things that we're familiar with. It's always anyway, you possible. Never, yeah, you never really know with some things. Anyways, it looks like most of the information for the game is on the back of the play Ooh, board. A destroyer. When this unit attacks the tower, it attacks two instead. So, what, are towers like your life points in the game, then, or...? That's what it looks like. Ooh, the shard zone! Oh, someone's done eating. <sighs> yes. What, are you mad that we started the video without you? That's what you get for being a muncher. You're, you're like the third partner involved with this channel. Of course we can't do this without you, Avery. I mean... Oh, he, he prefers to be off... And all, he prefers to be off camera! <laughs> Anyways, let's actually get a look at the deck here, now that we're, you know, done with all this stuff. I folded that Wait, terribly. these decks have 57 cards in them? I mean, look at this. This is thick. I'm just saying, usually decks have like 40, 50, 60 cards in them. 57, I like 57. 57 is like my favorite number. I think 52 is a good number. Imagine picking that many up. So, like a regular playing card deck? Yes. <laughs> Rude. Anyways, here's the back of it, because you know I like to show off the back of cards. It's a pretty regular looking back, I'm not gonna lie. You got the elements, you got a big old crystal thing. Oh, I thought thingy. there were five. There's six. Didn't even see the bottom one for a second. Pure energy. I'm gonna split this in half. What it's the heck? thick. Anyway. Split this thick lead in half. This is, of course, the Drakenholt Draco board. Whoa, what the heck? Let's, uh... It's, it's very shiny. But, uh... Yeah. Wait, Draco board? Is he like a cyborg dragon, man? Focus. Okay. Yeah, you usually have to touch the screen to get it to well, focus. Well, it does it automatically sometimes, but... Well, not this time, apparently. Yeah, I guess not. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh, are they all going to be shiny? This is a Corona. Oh, no, it says there are three foils, or four foils. Corona, the first... The fire spirit. Heh. Cool. Ooh, it's like a lizard. Oh, it's like boy. a lizard thing. I'd say it looks like a dragon, but everyone knows dragons have wings. If it doesn't have wings, then it's like a lizard or an alligator or something. And if it doesn't have arms, it's a wyvern. I we mean, that's still, a, today. that's still a type of dragon, though. An alligator is not a type of dragon. I mean, yeah, this is an argent shard. It's talking about the crystals again. 
Hey, you see it? I don't, it looks like a black crystal in this one. Oh, yeah. What the heck? That would be six still. Oh. Oh, that's... Maybe it's the purple one. <laughs> it's the purple one. Okay. Yeah. I think it's so just... The lighting. Okay, oh, see, no. It's can... partially the art. Like, even in the light, it's very, it's a very dark purple. But, yeah, you can see it a lot better when it's not hollow. Anyways, here's a booster dragon. Yeah, the hollows are cool, but it's really actually kind of tough to see the details on the cards, which is unfortunate, because a lot of games don't actually have that problem. I mean, the art is cool, though. Yeah, it is cool art, just... Ooh, booster dragon. According to this, by the way, there's 86 cards made in this uh, first release. And I'm not sure if they released a second series... Uh, they've released a few things. This is a usable like, deck, so we're going to get a lot of doubles on this one. Also, these are kind of thick cards. Not that that's a bad thing. It's a deranged dragon. Sweet. See, you know, like, like Why is he deranged? I don't know. Got like a... Oh, that's another leg. Okay. Oh, I thought that was like a dude hanging from I, him. I thought so, too. I thought he was like holding on to some guy with like armor or some shit, but... <laughs> it's his like back leg with his front legs there. E. I like it. He's got a gauntlet, a gauntlet and a pauldron. Armor. <laughs> Deranged dragon. Again. There's a lot of mad lads in this deck. Oh man, Draconic Blast. It's a dragon hunter, but they're also a cowboy. Oh boy. <laughs> you gonna just uh, go through the deck without saying yeehaw? Yeehaw. Yeekaw. Here's a Draconic Destroyer. Not gonna lie, that just makes me think of like a warship or something. Uh, wow, Avery is very chatty. I think he's angry at the dryer. Cool. Fun. Guess what, Avery? We need to clean our clothes. <laughs> and also dry them. Yeah. Here's a Draconic Summoner. Oh, actually there is some dude this time, not just Dragon. But it's still a dragon-type unit. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously summoning a dragon right there. It is cool, though. 2,000 power? That's almost as strong as the blue-eyes white dragon. <laughs> I'm starting to gather that I'm pretty sure it's going to be like three of every card, except for the hollows. I'm starting to gather that it's just going to be dragons. This is an enraged dragon. You might be correct. I mean, this is the intro deck fire according to the box that I'm looking at across the table. I read it correctly. Yeah, this one. You know, the one we opened, everyone. <laughs> Argent Saga, the trading oh, card man. game. Exploding dragons. Dragon. Wait, what? Yeah, exploding dragon. <laughs> okay, that's his body. He's, like, diving. I thought it was, like, part train for a second. God, my eyes suck. Jeez, he's, like... Yeah, he's, he's literally exploding. <laughs> Well, you know, from a distance, this could be a train. It's a dragon, actually. A. <laughs> Imbued by fire? Yes. Nice. Nice. Wow, I actually stopped this exactly how I needed to. Let's get to the other half now. Starting with the juvenile dragon. Well, it's a kiddo. I. <laughs> it's like being pulled around by some, like... Actually, I think... Ju I think, like... Infant dragon would be more like a kid or a slash like baby. Teenager yeah, juvenile is like the okay. edgy teen years. Anyways. You know, like the same kind of people that would use this as their starter deck, edgy teens. He's being pulled around in like some kind of dragon chariot. <laughs> I don't know. I we bought it because it was the cheapest one online. I also like dragons, so. Oh, yeah, like the darkness one that you wanted to get was like 30 bucks. Okay, I do still want to get that. But this one was like 650 yeah, but still, we should get that one at some point. I mean, yeah. Mech Dragon's Flame. So it's like a robot or another cyborg? Yeah. It's, it's, it's like not a... really a flame. That's more just firing rockets from your chest, but, I mean, if you want to call that a flame... Borg Dragon. I guess it'll set things on fire when they explode. Dragon Borg, if you will. The Borg. I love it. Okay, yeah, it looks like I mean, there's... Okay, yeah, that's the same card. I'm sorry. 
blanked out for a second expel, there. Expel target unit if its power is less than the highest power of a dragon <clears throat> unit you control. Oh, okay, so it's like Dra Mech Dragon's Flame is like an insta-kill card. Oh, neat. Rao Dragon Tamer. Rao? It might be Rao. I'm not good with names. Chain that little bugger's mouth. Avery's fussing, so I'm going to give him this bottle cap. Oh, yeah. He's enjoying that. You liking that cap? Yeah, he'll just go after our fingers if we have a cap. But also, he doesn't like us pointing the camera at him. He's camera shy, aren't you? <laughs> he just tossed it off the table. Yeah. yeah. Well, he ain't getting it back. Okay. Oh, man. Soul Fire Dragon. This, this might actually be my favorite art so far, not gonna lie. Actually, that is really cool. It's like releasing the Soul Fire Dragon. Like, I kind of wish I could see this in moving form. This is really sweet looking. Just be twirling around like, Whoa. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it. Yeah, it's the art is very nice, and it seems like a a good setup for a game. On these days when I get a better desk, I'm gonna have a, a card hold holder. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a female. Mm -hmm. Her screams of pain rival the pitch of the dragon's cry. So it's a lady that's releasing the dragon, not a man. I said uh -oh. he before. We can see her tail. Can you all believe this? Can you believe the absolute nerve of this little man? He's chewing on your hat. We know you're back there. It's not my hat, that's your hat. That's your hat. No, it's your hat. I've just worn it a bunch. Anyways, this is the vehement Christian... Crimson Guardian. The Christian Guardian. Mm, very Christian. <laughs> Setting stuff on fire? It, it's, it's literally a fire dragon. Like, there's no other way to say it. And I fucking love this. Sorry. Frickin'. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh! oh huh, a singular. Alright. Well, I mean, the, the main card was a singular, too, but that... Usually goes without saying. Vengeful dragon. <laughs> Chewing on paper over there. Yeah, it's such a vengeful dragon. Okay, yeah, now we're back to the multiples. Oh, man. Not bad. Vengeful dragon is cool, too. It comes in threes, like trilogies. It's from a song. Anyways, uh, Though I can't power of air... I can't say that all these, dra all these fire dragons just being, like, reddish-orange isn't a... Uh, Terrible isn't a terribly inspired idea. Wait, there's a green? Oh, these are these must be energy or land cards. Oh, they're the towers that it mentioned. Towers, yes, that makes sense. Tower of air. When this card is destroyed, you can look at your opponent's hand and select one card. Then your opponent discards that card. Tower of darkness. Okay, so there's like a, ben a downside and a and a benefit for both care for both players to some of these towers. Tower of fire. Yeah, like, they're your towers, and your opponent has to, like, probably destroy them. But when they do, you get something out of it. Nice. That's actually kind of a cool idea. This is the Tower of Light. I know it's not a tower, but that kind of makes me think of the mechanical fox in Magic. Where it's it's kind of weak, but uh, it, it's decent for what it does. But when it dies, you actually get, like, life for it. Oh, uh, yes, cool. much like the pest deck I built. Like, oh, man, your creature died. You get two life. Oh, here, here, look at that. Now you get a... Okay, yeah, it now... It's very much I mean, purple. it's still dark, but it's much easier to see the art. Yeah, it was definitely just because it was hollow, unfortunately. I, I like shiny cards, but that was quite difficult to see. Indeed, quite. Oh, man. Now we just have, like, normal versions. So that means we have four of these. Okay. Five of them. Six of them. Oh man. Okay, so maybe the shards are the in, are the. I have mana. a feeling these are important. <laughs> Did, <laughs> you don't say. We just had like a ton of these. Okay, well that was all the cards. Just to let you know. <laughs> That's a ton of shards at the end there. That actually didn't take as long as I was thinking. No, that, that went surprisingly fast. But I guess that's what happens when you have a ton of doubles in a pre-made deck, which in itself makes sense. But yeah, I don't know. These actually don't seem like they would have been uh, too bad. Settle down, Avery. But yeah, I guess uh, just rushing games out is probably not a good idea. 
So, yeah, anyone trying to make a card game or any kind of thing in general, just don't rush it. Also, time frame is, is always a thing to keep track of, you know. Plus, there's also, like, the management of just kind of the business side of things. How you're going to pay for the stuff, how you're going to ship the stuff, who's going to actually make the stuff. I don't know. Not to mention marketing. Yeah, card games... <laughs> Like anything else, it costs a lot of money and a lot of time and are hard as fuck to do. Yeah. Anyway, that's probably enough from us. This is a shorter video, but that's all right because... It was good. Yeah. And, and I actually think the art is pretty neat. Yeah, it's nice art. So. We should definitely do some more openings of, these game, of this game when we can buy some more of the decks, probably. But thank you for watching, and we are going to see you in the next video.